everybody, it's your boy and we're back with another reaction and today I'm here with Gavin. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be watching The Beast of the Diving Quarry. Yeah. I uh, don't know if I said that right, but let's yeah. get into it. Excuse us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We are on our way out to the Circleville Dive Center. For the past few months, we have been working on scuba dive training, and we are about to get dive certified. This is our last day of classes, our last open water I dive. Know you to take so classes. we figured we would film it, and we're going to head out so. to this quarry looking for a giant catfish. You look weird without a beard. Right, you now, need to bring the oh, hell did you bring this beard back? I was wondering what was different. First. So I'm going to give the beard, beard back. Take, huh? He's always been bald. Yeah. He has his hat on too, that's not right. Time to get certified. Is it right? What is it? Clear? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying it's not clear. What oh, you're it? saying it's dirty. Yeah, isn't that murky? I don't think so. Hey, here's your temporary car. Yes. Da, 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 da. Thank you, sir. Yay. Welcome. Got it. Hey. Officially certified. Let's get back oh, the they're doing it for certification. All right. What? All right, well, set. Oh, Let's go find ourselves a giant cat. No, but it's different. Like, because you were saying, like, you need to have lessons. Yeah. As we deflated our BCDs, oh, okay. or as they are technically oh, called buoyancy control, control devices, we sank beneath oh, the surface and yourself. began searching right. for this legendary catfish. For years I have heard tales of this giant, and everyone that gets dive certified in this quarry has their own yarn to spin. Some say he's as big as a school bus. And One yeah, person no actually warned me that his mouth was so massive oh that my entire head could fit inside. They say the Circleville Beast is out there, and maybe he is, but so far the only fish I saw were bass and bluegill. He's looking for a giant catfish. Correcto. That's the worst thing when those dead ones are all foggy. Oh my gosh, dang! And it feels like once it happens, then it happens a lot. Pretty cold. Right? It's pretty cold down there. No big catfish yet. So, some bluegill and some bass. That's about it. We got a lot of clouds rolling in. Found some muddy spots. It's pretty cool down there. Diving is uh, definitely a whole new world, that's for sure. We got a plan B? Why are we tired? <laughs> Plan B. I think it's time to draw on those catfish. You got a lot right, of gear on. Happens. Let's do it. All right, I'll get you back to the dock. Head back over to the dock, and uh, we're gonna break out Plan B. I got it. Ooh. What is it? I have a secret weapon when it comes to finding the biggest catfish really? in the pond. Oh, I didn't know oh, catfish like ballpark hot dogs. Ballpark hot dogs. Oh, All right. right. You know, the chain of catfish no. is North America's no. most no. numerous no. catfish no. species, and they can be found in almost no. every no. waterway no. across no. the middle and eastern United States. Oh, cow, dude. The catfish is right here. They hit like a big the, Oh, there's one. On average, a full grown adult, like the Circleville Beast, tips the scales at around 20 pounds. This is fresh water. However, they can get significantly larger. With the current world record tipping the scales at 58 pounds. It's a 20 pound fish? They have an incredible sense of smell, and the minute that a potential food source, even something like a hot dog, hits the water, these eating machines will often swarm in and begin to feast. For well over a century, the channel catfish has existed at the center of big fish folklore. And it's encounters like this one that add a truth to the idea that monster-sized catfish do truly lurk beneath the water's surface. Well, I would say 
that that was a pretty successful day. Dive certified, oh, and we even filmed a giant catfish yes, on this oh, expedition. I Mark's still out there swimming the fishes, but I know I got some really great shots. I'm freezing cold at this point, so it's getting a little overcast. I think it's time to get out of the water and get warmed up. Woo, this was one wild adventure. Hmm, why did you have to snap this? Yeah. <laughs> like, Getting scuba certified has been a goal since the start of our Beyond the Tide series. Yeah, we're not getting on certification. We're going to explore the ocean waves. We can't wait to share it with each and every one of you. If you live in Ohio and want to get dive certified, make sure to visit Aquatic Adventures and schedule your classes today. Oh, man. That was a lot. I am whooped. Diving is not easy. But it's official, Coyote Peterson is dive certified. Now exploring in a quarry here in Ohio was pretty cool. And that catfish was epic. But you know what's more epic than a catfish? Sharks. And I know everybody out there watching is excited about all the ocean creatures that are soon to come. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. <laughs> oh, I need a warm shower. If you thought getting up close to well, a giant catfish yeah. was a wild experience, make sure to go back and watch the episode. Get, um, past 20 pounds, because guys, back in Houston, where we are from, then we have a big freaking fish out there in our lake. I wonder if that's a catfish. There's several of them in there, not just one. Yeah. But it's huge. There's one really big one. We can all attest. Yes, they're freshwater it's catfish. Huge. That are in there and they kind of look like sharks if you look at them from an I, angle. You think they're catfish? They could be another type of fish. That thing no, is No, they're, they're catfish for sure. And I, all our neighbors always try to go in there and get it. Yeah. But no one's got it. But they're, they're not that stupid. They're, they're pretty smart too. Um, and so I didn't know that this was a catfish the whole time that he was looking for. I thought there was going to be another big one. I thought it would be like Anyway, make sure you guys smash that like button down below. Make sure that you comment and you say something nice. You know, say something nice about the pillows or the lighting. Or maybe you just say something nice about my face. I don't know. You decide what you want to say. But, you know, leave something nice down below. And make sure that you sign up for post notifications. It's the one that looks like a bell. <laughs> do that for me okay and um we'll see you guys next week i'm gavin subscribe i don't remember if i said subscribe not really pretty red box so you can subscribe bye